birthday than Christmas. But uh, anyway, so I guess I want to talk a little bit about our um, the, the idea of walking around and letting our intuition call us into like just doing things. And even if it doesn't make sense. And um, so I should say, though, that um, this is a continuation from the last recording yeah. that we did. So if you're watching yeah, this yeah. and you have no idea what we're talking about, then go ahead <laughs> and look yeah, it up first. Yeah, video yeah. first. Just to just walk around, basically, right? And yeah. yeah, to just take a walk like around your neighborhood, around the house, or anywhere just in the next couple of days. And anything that grabbed your attention, just pick it up and just make a pile, mm -hmm. basically. Or even just collectively remember it or make a note. Um, and we were thinking to start building the relationship with the intuition because that's, um, I don't, I feel like you may have said this last time, but it's the, um, the way that, what is it? Like they say, people pray to God for the, the, the communication from us to our higher power. And then the way that we hear back is through our intuition, through meditation, through, yeah, you know, inspired action, like, you know, random shit. It's like, it doesn't seem like it makes sense, but when you're looking at things from a great big perspective, like yesterday I was down here, it was like barely nine o'clock in the morning and it was still cold and I didn't have any shoes on. And all of a sudden I grabbed scissors and I ran out front to cut the bushes with scissors. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> like okay, what? I have one window. I have one window. I'll show you the window. I have one window right there, tiny little window, right? And it was literally like two branches covering this window, but it wasn't even covering it. I just knew that there could be like the tiniest bit more of light. <laughs> so I go out there next thing you know, I'm cutting two branches and then I'm covering the whole yard. I'm like, do -do 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 -do, cutting with scissors, the whole front yard. Like <laughs> with scissors. And then I turn around and we had this old trash can. I don't know if you saw it when you came over, but it was like this old like kettle can. It was like basically full of trash. And I had these big bunches of now branches and I'm like, Oh, that'd be really pretty. So I shoved them in the barrel and all of a sudden it looked beautiful and my hedges were like trimmed. So I came <laughs> down here and the next thing I knew I'm building this fucking green man and in my head, the branches were going to be the woman's, you know, growth and the tree. And in my head, like I'm flashing my belly mold and spoons mold too. It was going to be dual bellies, but I couldn't get the measurement. I was sweating and I don't like to sweat. So <laughs> once I started sweating and getting cranky, I'm like, oh, this doesn't feel like God anymore. Duh. So I was like, we just stop. <laughs> um, but yeah, like it was funny because I didn't finish it until like 10 o'clock last night. But like I, I cut those branches at nine o'clock in the morning. I would not have any plant. I don't have a garden. My, all of our pots are full of dirt. Like there's no garden here. Yeah, me <laughs> so, either. Like we had hedges. And it was so funny because I didn't know anything about like, you know, cutting from the garden or making a wreath, which I'm not going to do those things just because it's not going to work for us, but I'm excited to do it next year. So, but I was just, I was loving the idea that as practiced as I am with the intuition and the intuitive play, I have the time still have no idea what's happening until the end. And it's like, ta-da! And I think for the universe, the universe wants it to be like that. If it feels like it's working, mm -hmm. then you're not allowing. And that's how you know that you're not quite in your receiving mode of your intuition you're more efforting you're guessing and a lot of people have that well what, how do I know I didn't just think that thought how do I know I received it and it's a lot of times when you're first starting I was mentioning this a little bit ago it has to almost be something that you're not connected to emotionally because if it is then it's almost going to feel like it has to give you the right answer or you're not going to trust it and that's not how it's it's a it's like a growing thing imagine like when you first started walking before you could even get there you had to sit up and then you bent over and then you crawl you know you pick up the pencil and then you can scribble and then you can hold it and you can draw a line and then you can make a t and then you can make a w and then you can just write fucking forever but you have to kind of start and let it grow but it, it can be as fast or as slow as you kind of let it be but it really has to be a, it's way more of a play thing. If it feels like I got to get my intuition working or I'm not going to be able to pay the beat. It's just not going to, it's not that kind of energy. Like it's all about you letting go almost like you can imagine like letting your mind free fall 
and just seeing what happens. Like a lot of us, we don't have the schedule to accommodate that in the fullest of its expression because we have like a job and schedule and kids. Like, so, you know, we, there are some things we have to do, but there are lots of parts in the day where, especially the segments, which is where I like to teach self-care most, but that's those segments in the middle where you're walking here and there, you're washing the dishes or you're waiting for the water, you're doing and doing. Like so many of our moments are the moments that we're waiting for something to happen. Like how much of the day are we just thinking, well, tomorrow we get to do this or almost dinner time. You know, it's all, it's always that idea of we're not quite there yet. And there's so much power in these little segments. Like, and then that's where that intuition comes in. And then you start building. Well, so once you can start identifying and playing with it, there's a reason, there's a reason I needed those three bushes. And if, if it was 10 o'clock at night, I wouldn't have been out there with scissors cutting down the bushes. It wouldn't have worked. Like it would have been a bad time. Also <laughs> probably would have maybe the cops would have came. So like, <laughs> like it could have been really bad or who knows? Like, so yeah, but so, and then, so once you start playing, that's when it even gets more fun because like my other, my other way to teach it is figure out what it means. Like, why did you pick up the green branch? So do you want to go a little bit into that? Do you have a story about that? And how do you figure out what they mean to you? Yeah. Sorry if it's loud. My husband just started taking a shower and I'm in the basement. That's okay. Um, so, yeah. So for me, when, I'm, when I know that I'm tapped into my intuition, it means that, um, like, I have this wave of calm come over me. Like, and it's just kind of like, okay, yeah, it's done. So an example I love to give is, like, a conversation I had with my mom when I was in law school. And... Um, it would have been my second summer of law school. It's a three-year program. So my second summer, um, I, was, I had applied for two jobs, and like summer jobs. And um, one, one of them I really wanted because it paid significantly more than the other one. But the other one was like so aligned with what I wanted to do when I graduated and what I currently do now, which I love. Um, and I felt like I did, I nailed both those interviews, whatever. Anyway, long story short, I was talking to my mom about it and I hadn't heard back from either one yet, but I just said to her, oh, I'm going to get this one. She was like, what are you talking about? I was like, oh, I mean, it's just like obvious. <laughs> it was like so clear to me right. that I had so much confidence and calmness about it that I was like, no, that's, that's it. Like it's done. It's done already. They just have right. to figure it out for themselves and let me know that they know now. Um, and right. so that's the way I like to describe it though, is like, it's so easy to question yourself. It's so easy to be like, well, this job pays more or whatever. But like at the end of the day, the calmness inside of me is like, okay, that's the answer. And if you talk about efforting, <laughs> I love how you say that. You're like, I'm efforting too much. But it's true. Like if I feel like I can't decide, I'm very wishy-washy about something, then I'm like, all right, I need to back off because the answer will come and I'm trying to force it in a way that's not allowing it to show itself to me. Right. Um, and so it's the same thing with when I'm like outside walking around there, there are things that we have had in our house for all of 2020 that I couldn't tell you why. And so a great actually example of that is after our last video um, and we, were, we decided we were going to, as we were going out and about like collect things and not really think about why we were collecting them, just collect them. I was washing my dishes and I right above the sink in my kitchen, there's a window. And so I have like random herbs and stuff hanging mm -hmm. on either side of the window. Well, on one side, on the right side, my husband back in January hung dill to dry. And then it's just lived there since January. And I don't know why, like we don't use it anymore. It doesn't even smell particularly good. Right. Um, but it had the tag on it still, like the from the grocery store tag and finally for whatever reason two days ago I decided to take the tag off so that I would look prettier on the wall and as I took the tag off um it like I felt like this just in my mind I was like I need to look up what dill is for uh -huh. <laughs> um and so I did and it turns out dill has to do with prosperity and with money which 2020 year of the money this is the year that our household is getting out of debt yeah so i was like picking ass at that <laughs> oh my gosh this has been hanging here all year and i had no idea why and i've always said my husband's the one who bought it and hung it there but i've always said my husband is very magical and i go into a lot about that he's from new orleans louisiana which has a huge hoodoo background right he's just 
I've always said if he has a dream about me, don't tell me what happens because his dreams are true. So it doesn't surprise me at all that my husband like completely absentmindedly put that there. But then the fact that I left it, that's like my space, you know, yeah. uh, the fact that I left it, I'm like, wow, I finally know why I've been yeah. able to leave that there yeah. for months now. Um, I love that you're cutting the tag on this, like activated your like acknowledgement of it. Like, yeah, I mean, that's exactly what it was. Power. Now you're like using that to transmit your energy. That's why you, that's why we do these things. Like, I know, I don't want to cut you off or lose your story, that's okay. but we were talking about that. Why get these things? And just like you said, well, I looked up Dill. Dill has to do with prosperity. That's a really good thing to think about at a moon because that's a lot of energy. Like not only prosperity, but letting go of I'm not prosperous, you know, letting go yeah. of, you know, all that. And just the fact that you had it and it spoke to you means the universe wants you to be fucking prosperous. It just boosts your confidence. And it doesn't matter what you do with the Dill, even if it just hangs there, if you do a blessing, if you burn it, if you stick it in your tub, like just having it is you just acknowledging and like just celebrating with the universe. I'm fucking prosperous. And I know it. Like, I like that you said it's this calm, like you do it backwards than me, which I think because I'm more home and you're out, like, you're just like, well, I know it's done. And that's a really fucking cool, powerful thing. Like, yeah, I appreciate out and that. already confident. Like a lot of times I kind of like beef myself up, like get myself there before I go because I'm not used to being out every day like that, you know, cause it's a newer practice for me, but like, I would imagine that would be really cool to like go through the whole day knowing like everything I'm going to want is coming. Like, that's really cool. Like I hadn't even thought about it that way. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't happen even particularly often, but I always appreciate so much when it's like, all right. I mean, even with the coming out of death this year, like, you know, Nancy, uh, there is actually no logical reason how we should be able to get out of debt. We Except don't you just bring enough money in to pay off our debt. You just but we're doing it. it. I, doing just it. today, actually, I was like, wow, we are completely on track. And yeah. I don't know how. I have no idea where all that is. Despite, despite the pandemic. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. it's on pause, but you're still coming out of debt. That's a big fucking shift in energy. Everybody else is, like, crunching down about money and hoarding toilet paper, and you're paying extra money to the credit cards. Yeah. Nobody else is doing that. Not really, but you know what I mean? Like that's right. normal. That's because you're doing big shit with your, like you're shifting. You're, you're purposely taking your energy and you're using all of your, all of your abilities, all of your knowledge of this is my husband. This fucker smart. I'm going to leave the dang bush there. And then now I, okay, okay, let's, let's dust it off. Cause it's spring cleaning. <laughs> oh, what do you know? Right in time, you know, like, I mean, perfect timing and it wouldn't have been perfect timing until today. So yeah. like, you know, like it's, I just love that. And I feel like once you get that down, it's almost like, I was thinking about this because a lot of people and including myself when this first started, it's almost like, well, it's kind of like I have to talk myself into letting it happen. And it kind of feels like you have to talk yourself into it first. But once you can get the ball rolling and it plays back with you, it's like, Ooh, Ooh, even if it's just you, but that's why I like to have another friend because sometimes it is like, am I going crazy or is everything <laughs> really working out? But like, like it gets like that. Like it gets to where you're like one after another. I've, I've been on like three days of like, I mean, I came home the other day with a fucking mountain of diet Coke and chocolate. And I know that sounds silly, but it was just like, and then the basketball hoop came down, the basketball hoop came down. The kids ain't coming back to the house no more. Yeah. And then the guy cut my grass. Wow. <laughs> and it's just been one after another, like little stuff like that. Like the bushes, that thing was huge. Like, yeah. Because this thing is the coolest shit I ever made. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with it. And I, I like the fact that I can deal with the impermanence, but man. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's worth mentioning too that we have a super moon coming up, a super full moon. Um, so one? this the May seventh one is a super full moon. So any I of don't the know anything about it except the Scorpio. So anything you know will be great. I mean that's all I <laughs> that's the, that's all I have to say about it. But I think that um, part of the reason I think it's important is significant though is that this is actually a really good time for us to be teaching about intuition because our all of our intuitions are so amped up right now. I think yeah, I mean yeah, 
I mean, that's what I've been feeling from the, from like the planet or the collective consciousness. Like, and I guess that's why I've been doing numbers because that's not normally my thing. Cause I like animals, <laughs> but you know, cause I always do more of a pictures kind of girl. Yeah. But, but yeah, like it's all numbers, but a lot of people connect with numbers more, whether it's money or like God symbols, angel symbols. Like, I mean, I can tell you everybody in the world is 11, 11, you know, like, and it's just, I feel like that's been the easy way. It's like, I feel like the, the whole, everything is just like trying to suck in everybody that it can. Like it's a big, big, big time. I, I feel like this is probably one of the most important moons of the year if, if i'm not like just being dramatic which i could be but <laughs> no, it is it, but is. it feels it feels like the biggest moon of the year and it's only fucking may so yeah no it's a big one yeah right, everything i've been hearing is a big one a little about yeah so uh, hopefully this was easy enough to follow. But um, really what it comes down to is we need to continue to practice trusting our own intuition. And so uh, it feels different for different people. But um, so we can't tell you exactly what your experience is going to be as you are focusing or as you are working on building your own trust in yourself. But keep doing it, you know, like keep getting out there, keep being like, Oh, that flower is looks pretty, I want to pick it and keep those things until five months from now, all of a sudden you're like, oh, this means something, <laughs> right? Like that's, that is totally how it works. That's how we build trust in ourselves and in our ability to co-create with the universe. So for sure, keep going out there and like grabbing anything that means anything to you and literally anything, like not to call Nancy out, but like you used to have like, well, you probably still do, but like you used to collect eggshells and I all, that, all that. Like it, when I, when I was first playing with this, when it came to food, when I was realizing that food and plants were just as much a part of this. Like I would be cooking and I'd be like, don't throw that away. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and next thing you know, there's like a whole little like all kinds of shit happening. Like, and yeah. I still have jars of it because I wouldn't throw it away. But, <laughs> but yeah, um, I yeah, wouldn't know whatever it is. Like, it doesn't matter. As weird as it may sound, just keep it. Not, like, in a hoarding way. <laughs> just um, but if you I usually do it, like, every moon. Like, just kind of, like, hold it around. And by then, you'll know. Like, if it's, if it's this, oh, this has been fun, you keep it, maybe transform it. Like, usually I'll put it somewhere else. Or yeah. put it in a plant or something or in a water. You know what I mean? Do something else with it. Or just, you know, recycle it wherever it's appropriate. Um, but also... For the homework this time, in, with the still keeping up looking for intuitive things, I also want to say from a place when I didn't leave the house or feel very positive in the whole world, um, your phone counts. The screenshots count. Yeah. Um, I learned a lot. I feel like a lot of that. And I, at first I was like, well, does this count? Cause this doesn't seem like it could count, but it will count. So I, I just, I knew another person had asked me, well, what if I can't get out of my house in real life? And that's true. If you're scrolling in your thing and all of a sudden you see a red Cardinal, it's not just because it's Facebook. It does count. The Cardinal is trying to talk to you how the Cardinal can get to you. If it's through Facebook, it's through Facebook. Don't question it. Enjoy it and celebrate it. Look it up. Another thing, what I do with the screenshots, particularly um, sometimes if I have a couple of things that I want to check that I can't remember, I do an instant messenger and I instant message myself and I just take pictures of stuff and I'll just send myself an instant message. And then at night when I'm laying in bed, instead of looking through everybody else's life that they're fake pretending is awesome, I'll like <laughs> scroll through Google and see why I'm awesome and then go to bed like thinking about me. I feel like trying to like switch up that bedtime thing is also big in any energy shift. We do downloading and recharging and replenishing at night. That's our stopping of, of momentum. And the more that you can go into that space as in, all right, I'm pulling all these jets because I want to like stay here. I've made good work or I don't love this. I'm going to stay here and I'm going to wake up from a higher point or at least from this point, from positive, optimistic, hopeful, whatever. But going to sleep, just like falling asleep, like to anything, 
can be really taxing on your energy. So just, I just want to throw that in there. I don't know why I just want to say that. So just, you know, don't go to sleep looking at people's Facebook and thinking negatively of yourself. Do whatever you can to like, think good before you fall asleep. Even if it's just one minute, you know, just tune out. Think, even if it's just God, my bed is good. Even if it's just my bed, just think about yourself and why it's good before you can fall asleep, if you can. So add that to that. <laughs> to yeah. That. I love that idea. And then um, a big part of being able to um, connect with your intuition is having that level of pre presence and mindfulness to like feel that gut reaction. So um, if you haven't already, consider practicing some sort or beginning some sort of mindfulness exercise. So for me, a really some I am my sense of smell is like my strongest sense. It always has been. So for me, I use a lot of essential oils and now I'm starting to bring like herbs and tinctures into the mix, but regardless, essential oils is such an easy place to start with this. Um, so if we're thinking about mindfulness, some grounding oils might be really helpful if you have frankincense, if you have myrrh, um, if you have anything that comes from a tree, so like cypress, um, trying to think of other ones, any sort of pine, um, Siberian fir is a favorite of mine. So anyway, anything that comes from a tree, it's going to be really grounding for you. Think about the roots of the tree and it's how it's so strongly connected to the earth. Um, that is the energy that you get from the, the, for that particular essential oil. So think about um, if you are able to take a mindful minute, um, it's really helpful to me to have an essential oil. And I literally just put a drop in my hand and rub my hands together. And then I just cup it over my nose and mouth and take a breath. And it yeah. can be as simple as that. Your mindfulness can literally start with one breath. <laughs> it doesn't I, I have to be so big thing. Just as you were talking, um, I've been adding a little bit to this like plain lotion because I have really sensitive skin, but Blair's been teaching me about oils and I got to say, I cannot believe I have not been doing this before. They're yeah. literally all over the house this morning. You'll be so proud of me. I don't want to take forever, but it was two, fr hold on, two grapefruit, two lemon, two lavender, one frankincense in my little nice. I feel like such a professional. Before I was like, I'm like, you're able to do lemon. And I'm not like, <laughs> I know, right? Nothing's getting in there, but it's working. And I love it. Like, I mean, I do for this one, it's the breathe. And I, I've been working on like lung health. So, um, like I do like Blair, I'll put the lotion or sometimes just the oil, but I like the lotion cause it goes a little farther, you know? Yeah. And then I'll just like cup it. And then I do a little bit like on my neck and the back, you know, like the front of my chest and like do that for and I was also thinking when you were talking about the grounding oils, if you're wanting to play with like rocks or colors, um, you know, darker ones, like the browns, like what you would think wood and then, or even green. So thinking like root chakra or uh, heart chakra, but like brown stones, um, like tiger eye or like even black, like, um, like smoky quartz is really good for the stuff. Nice. Um, yeah. Any, anything like that you, and really anything that gra grabs your attention just get it and then like if nothing else i don't want to get into too much of how it can make sense i don't because i feel like that could be a whole other topic i don't want to like get, make this like seven hours long but like i'll i feel like there's a lot to say about like you just have to trust that if it means something to you that's what it's that's the point like just because it doesn't mean something to anybody else doesn't mean anything it's your personal relationship it is private it is intimate you can share what you want but it doesn't matter like if it's saying it to you, it's saying it to you. Nobody else has to justify it. Like it's serious. Like, cause in the beginning I was like, well, how do I know this is really meaning this? How do I know seven, seven, seven means this? And it's not, you know what I mean? Like, but you have to learn and that's, it's a learning thing. Like you learn to trust it. Like, yeah, this is, I know this because it shows itself to me. So the more you practice, just like you were saying, like, I trust this. I just know it, you know, like it all comes together and then it's like, yeah, it's good shit. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're so yeah. right. Trust yourself. That's good. That's the moral of every video I think we're going to do is just trust yourself. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So yeah, I guess we'll be back in a few days with another video preparing us for the full moon. Mm -hmm. The super moon in Scorpio. Yeah. Maybe grab a piece of paper and start writing down uh, like feelings or words that um, you want more of or less of like, if you're finding yourself feeling angry, write down, I would like to feel a little less angry. Even because sometimes when I felt angry, I just think 
I want to be happy made me want to like punch people in the face. <laughs> it was, it's an impossible reach, you know, but, to, to, but this moon you could feel cynical and next moon you could feel hopeful and the next moon you could feel optimistic. You know what I mean? Like, and it doesn't have to take a whole fucking month, but you know what I mean? Like it is a gradual, it's as much as you can allow, but no one and nothing. It's all as much as you're, you can shift your energy. But, you know, and don't, you don't have to try and make, make a miracle. Don't, I need X billion dollars by Tuesday. Just let it be. I would just like to have the freedom to say yes. Or I want to be able to eat fresh salad every day. <laughs> like, you know, it could be, you know, just the things that you want without trying to shine too much on what is not there. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Cool. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. See you guys. Bye, everybody. Bye. Oh, gosh, here we go again. <laughs>